When tough times hit, gig delivery drivers, small business owners, and entrepreneurs are often on the front lines of being able to help out people when they are feeling down and out. I wanted to give three tips in light of the happenings yesterday in Pennsylvania at the Trump rally regarding how we can up our game as human to human contact people. This is not a political post. This is merely a people post that I wanted to share with you. Three observations because I have noticed today and yesterday while I was out delivering, there were many people who had glazed looks in their eyes, people processing things, people trying to understand things, people upset, people frustrated, people angry. And I noticed a couple of both negative reactions that I was seeing from people, as well as just kind of the overall processing of things. I was almost in an accident today when a driver who wasn't paying attention ran a stop sign. Now, thankfully, I honked and they did stop in time. But the truth is, there's a lot of people who when crisis hits, they kind of are no longer actually thinking in the moment about what they're doing because they're so distracted about the other thoughts in their head. So three tips that I just want to give you in light of where people are today as a gig delivery driver, as a small business owner, as an entrepreneur, three things that I want you to really be thinking about. One, in times of crisis, we need to be grace filled. We need to be understanding that people are going to react to a crisis situation in a variety of different ways. Now, this could be something like what happened yesterday. It could be in the aftermath of a storm or some sort of hurricane or natural disaster. And it can just simply be if someone is dealing with the loss of a loved one and they're using your services or using your business, you need to understand that it is not just a client on the other end. It is not just money or potential money on the other end. It is a real person. And I want to encourage you that as you work with people, that you are looking at the individual person and seeing if you need to be grace-filled in your interaction with them. Now, truthfully, we should be grace-filled all the time. But when you know someone is going through a crisis, you want to make sure that you have an extra measure of grace reserved to pour out on people who just maybe aren't there. Now, you could say, well, if they're not in a good mood, they shouldn't be using these things. Well, that doesn't matter. We're not there to live their lives. We need to live our lives and we want to set a standard of serving other people. And one of the best ways that you can serve people who are in crisis is be grace filled. Understand that people maybe are feeling a little agitated or upset or frustrated or scared or any of a variety of emotions right now. And they may end up taking that out on you. And so you need to be grace filled, be apologetic be really clear in your communication, be understanding that not everybody is necessarily feeling great in the aftermath of some sort of crisis like this. So be grace-filled, look for opportunities to go above and beyond, to serve them in the way of just offering them grace, not holding it against them if maybe some of their actions aren't really the way that maybe someone should treat you, but just to go above and beyond and have an extra level of grace. And if you can't have an extra level of grace, then don't go and disparage the customer. Instead, just say, you know what? I'm gonna just contact Instacart or DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubhub and just cancel this order because obviously this is just not a situation that's gonna work for me. Or you may have to refer a potential client to a different business. Say, look, I think you're gonna be served better there. So do your best. And most of the time, if people are struggling and you offer grace to them, they are going to reciprocate and they're going to feel safe in your presence. And that's a big thing. Second thing is this. You need to be observant. I realized last night when I was out delivering that a lot of people had a glazed look on their face. A lot of people were processing. They were not fully with it. Even a, one of the gate guards that was checking me in yesterday was just talking about what had happened and barely gave notice to me and and any focus like I don't even know how well she actually checked my ID and everything she just kind of let me on through and so you have to be observant that people are not necessarily going to be acting the way that they normally do and specifically 
for all you delivery drivers, I noticed that there were a lot of people driving very erratically today. And I don't just mean driving fast or weaving in and out of traffic. I mean people who were just not paying attention to normal street signs above and beyond what you normally see. And not people necessarily speeding, but people who would speed up and slow down. And they were looking for ways to get past you and then slow down in front of you. Just basically they had some form of negative emotion inside of them and they were just trying to figure out where to express that and so they would do that so there was times this morning when i was driving to church that i just you know what i'm just going to get out of your way i'm going to let you play your game with somebody else because i'm not going to put my vehicle my life and my family's life at risk to play some sort of car game with someone who's maybe frustrated or upset about something that i have nothing to do with so i don't want to participate in that be observant. Another area of being observant is kind of going back to being grace-filled. If you're not good at reading people, this is a great opportunity to use to start to try to learn some body language of people. So when I picked up an order at Chipotle today, I noticed things. I noticed how there was tension. It was the quietest I have ever seen a full Chipotle in my life. People were there. People were eating. The people who were eating alone were just kind of staring off. Some of them were at, at their phone, but it wasn't this normal. I'm just looking at my phone, I'm having a good time. People were kind of just, their eyes were glazed over. There were a few kids in the, in the restaurant and they just, you could tell that they knew something was right, but they didn't understand, or maybe they knew, but they just couldn't process it. There was kind of that, and it was just quiet. There was no pleasant kind of, the normal conversations that you would expect. And so by being observant, you can find ways to serve other people. And this gives you an opportunity to grow in these areas when you know so many people are struggling in an area that gives you an opportunity to read people, find out ways that you can bless them. And this really leads to the ultimate goal of this channel, which is this, be ready to serve. You may not be able to alleviate collective stress that a nation or a town is feeling after a natural disaster. You may not be able to do much significantly on a national level or regional level, but what you can do is you have the opportunity to speak life and hope into people who are struggling by virtue of the position that you are in. A lot of people maybe are staying home today, but you as the delivery driver might be one of the few people that certain people will interact with. And so you can take this opportunity to be a positive blessing in their life should they choose to order and should you get assigned their order. So I would encourage you to say, yeah, you know what, let me do that. Or let's say you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur and someone's reaching out to you. You have a chance to kind of go above and beyond and have just an opportunity to be an extra blessing to people who are maybe struggling emotionally or mentally and trying to process a bunch of things. I was trying to figure out what today felt like and it was really hard to come up with any comparisons really of anything I've experienced in my life of just how hush hush everything kind of was. Um, even after the hurricane down here that we had a couple years ago, people were kind of, even though they were sad, there was like this People were ready to get out and help each other. Today was different. Today was people were silent. People were trying to figure out what to do. And like I said, I saw lots of glazed eyes and lots of people. And I did my best in my opportunities today to be a blessing to people. You know, wasn't really telling a lot of jokes because I don't think that was like the kind of the mood of today. But I tried to provide a good delivery experience, tried to communicate well and just kind of go above and beyond in that. And so today, if you're out there, please be safe, be observant of your surroundings, please be grace-filled, understand that there's a lot of people who are confused, who are hurting in a variety of different ways today, and understand that they may take some of that hurt out on you, and please don't take it personally. Instead, look for ways to offer grace, and if that doesn't work, then just move on and move on to the next order. But most importantly, be ready to serve, Look for opportunities that you have that you can truly be a servant to someone who is struggling today. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but just after my experience of delivering last night and today, that's really what it's all about. We're going to end up talking about this tonight. Uh, this is a Sunday night here, uh, July 14th. So we're going to be talking about it 
tonight on our live stream at 10 p.m. Eastern. And so if you want to do that, make sure you subscribe. And we're going to we're gonna take a little time to dig into this. If you have any emotions and you need some help or some healing, we'll be taking some time for that. But we would just love to kind of continue this conversation about how we can serve in the midst of crisis. Because a lot of times gig delivery drivers and small business owners are on the front lines of serving people after crisis in local communities. And so I want to encourage you all to look for these ways to be grace-filled, be observant, and be ready to serve.